The approved Imperial History Network presents The Battle of Endor Revisited. You know, the galaxy would be a whole lot better if we got that second Death Star operational. Nothing says peace and security like a giant metal sphere of death. And we were brought down by what? A gang of punk kids and teddy bears. Teddy bears? Savages is more like it. I mean, did they even wear pants? Uncivilized savages? I mean, they stand against our very way of life. Who will stop the Ewok menace? Our good old boys in white and black. That's who. Go get them, boys. What the hell happened? I mean, we were a bloated superior army run by power-hungry politicians, and they were an underdog society fighting for their freedom. How could we lose with a setup like that? Boy, were we wrong. Dead wrong but still in the right. I will admit that the defeat at Endor was a crushing blow to morale. A few pansy-ass citizens couldn't deal with the fact that their great army lost to a bunch of throw rugs. Upon their return, the veterans were met with protests, not parades. And integrating back into society, Prove difficult. From the safety of secret committees, they talk about the danger of war. I mean, what were we supposed to do? People think we lost because we couldn't do our job. We did our job, man. But how could we stand against that? We could still hear the screams and the sounds of slingshot fire. It's a it's a, like a whoosh, 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 and then a thunk. It's horrible. Now? Now we can't get a job. A spin of a coin. Evil killer! Could mean 10,000 men, maybe more. We didn't ask for this war, but people don't care. When they look at us, all they remember are dead Ewoks, an incompetent tyrant leader, and that damned Yum Nub song. I may be wearing a helmet, but that doesn't make me a bad person. All that means is you can't see my tears. I'm, I'm sorry. Turn I it, it off. 